Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little fun because in the spirit of the spooky season, Halloween is around the corner. I'm going to be making a Halloween inspired weapon of some kind. And to do this, I'm going to use the accessories. We actually have this jack-o'-lantern piece, which is like perfect. And I'm thinking if I stick a dynamite behind it, we can make explosive rounds with these pumpkins. Essentially have a explosive round pumpkin minigun yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing today all right so this is the the round very basic there's two pieces let's just save this and get it out the way and i need a system where i can just drop as many pumpkins as i can well this is my really simple solution just a really really long conveyor belt of detachable blocks and i can stick a pumpkin on every single one of these blocks here and then I can have them drop and feed into the system and if I double them up that is so many look how complex we are already all I need now are my magnets in place I'm just gonna have that many make a little bit of a platform and let's get a seat on here just for our testing I have to make sure the magnets are on the negative get myself an anchor pin there we go all right here is our basic test for this idea oh yeah i forgot these pieces actually emit light look at that all right let me get my magnet on okay <laughs> is is there any way for me to zoom out more i don't think so actually you know what i'll use free cam all right there we go <laughs> let's give this a test guys so all of the detachable blocks will just drop at once here we go Three, two, one. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I mean, it started working for like two seconds. Let's try that again. All right, so it kind of works. It's just there's so much clustered together, it explodes immediately. I'm just wondering if this is too many. All right, we're going to try and separate everything. So the two sides are separated. Let's give this a go. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> so it keeps exploding. Yeah, okay. I, what it seems to be the issue is it's just a big cluster of pumpkin rockets. I need to make sure they drop individually. And this is going to take some time because I've got to time every single individual detachable block. Okay, that took a little while. But I managed to do uh, one segment here completely configured. So they're all on a 0 0.02 plus delay. And now let's give this a test. Let's turn on our magnet and let's hold down the fire. That's more like it. <laughs> All right, let's try and hit this barrel. Once I like fully get this functional, guys, I'm gonna make it look really good and also like maybe give it like a sight. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the magnet. No way. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that has some power to it. Okay, well, I can now officially double up the pumpkins again. So twice as much power. Here we go. Magnet on. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay. All right, that's nice. I want to see if I can make the trajectory of the pumpkins a little better. Maybe like arch them. I don't really know how I want to do that right now. Maybe I can put a magnet down here. Kind of make it push the pumpkins back up too. Here, let's just give this a quick test. Okay, well, that did not work. All right, what what about maybe further down the rail? Here we go. Wow, they do have some range, but I keep blowing myself up because it's not as reliable as, as I would like it to be. I just think it's because there's two mags going. I know how to fix this. I'm going to select all of the detachable blocks on this side and then just key bind them to a different key. All right, so now we have... All that set up. Let's just keep testing this. Oh, again? What happened there? 
Okay, so it, it glitches out a little bit. Damn, something is not happy right there. Maybe because the pumpkins are still like stacked up in a row. I feel like I need to spread them out a little bit. Okie dokie, so they are now scattered on the mag lines like this now. So maybe this will work a little better. The only way to find out is to keep testing. All right, guys, you ready? Magnets on. Three, two, one. Mixed results. I'm moving this magnet down the rail. There we go, right to the end. Finally! There we go. I mean, the end magnet isn't really affecting it too much. Maybe I just need to make sure there's a lot of those magnets at the end. But so far... That's amazing. That is like a minigun, right? That's rapid fire. Let's try and shoot both at the same time. Whoa! <laughs> that is devastating. Look at the spread. I'm going to try a few more magnets on the end. I really want to get like a big arch for these. I want to see if I can hit the ramp. My aim is to hit the ramp at the end of this track. All right, here we go, guys. Whoa! <laughs> Yes, we hit it. Oh my god, that is devastating. Look at the range. I just want to change the seats really quick. Let's go for a cockpit. Stick it in the middle there. Give that a quick look in first person. Okay, we can bring that out a little bit more. Hopefully that doesn't interfere with anything. All right, this is a good view. Just going to try and align myself up a little better. All right, guys, ready? Oh, yeah, it's hard to see with the magnets, but it's okay. We're going to do it anyway. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's insane. Let's just keep doing that. Yeah, dude, that has the range. It definitely has the range now. Okay, well, I am happy with the function of this thing. Now it's time to work on the form. Okie dokie, I have finished my designs. I didn't do too much to uh, the thing because the more I added, the more problems I was running into. But this is what I have made. Here it is. So there is a giant skull on the front of the uh, barrel, as you could call it. And then when I open the magnets, it opens the skull. And then I can drop my payload through the skull. It works mostly. <laughs> I, I had a roof section over it and everything, but the more I added, like I said, the more problems I was running into. But so far, I am pretty happy with this. Okay, so let's give this some proper testing. We need to blow up something big. I do have this target wall, which I'm going to put out here in the field. That's probably too close, but let's try it anyway. Also, I didn't really want to bother with like adding an aiming system to this, like to be able to like rotate the like the whole device. If I want to do that, I just aim where I want to go with my camera in the middle of the screen, and then I just repair. Easy peasy. Okay, <laughs> let's give this a test. Okay, it looks like the mouth is open. Yeah, there you go. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> they flew right over, actually. Oh, no, we hit it. We actually hit it. Here we go. Oh, I blew myself up. But I definitely hit the target right on the side. It's very unpredictable, this weapon. All right, what I'm going to do, guys, is actually move into free cam and kind of just back off from my turret, my pumpkin launcher. And here's the target. Let's turn the camera around. I just want to see what it looks like from like a different perspective. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa, they go so far over the target. All right, can I launch my the rest of them? There you go. Yes, we hit the wall. <laughs> I like cluster bombs. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Just a bit of a early Halloween special. 
<laughs> We've been inspired by all of like the custom made weaponry lately and I just wanted to make a Halloween themed one and yeah there you have it my pumpkin launcher my pumpkin rocket fueled magnet powered minigun <laughs> And why not leave some suggestions on what you want me to build next? I'm always checking the comments, guys. You guys have so many cool ideas, and we're just trying to get through them one by one. And whilst you're at it, if you like this video, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.